Shailaja teacher, uh, why call for bans? What makes, as, the question, as our audience member asked, uh, the, the CPM different from the BJP, uh, you know, or the Congress, all of you have different uh, sort of uh, histories of bans and censorships. Why not somebody stand up for free speech? Why not take the progressive position saying we disagree with this movie? We believe it is a distortion. We believe it is poor on facts. But you know what? We will argue this in public. We will counter misinformation with information or better information. Banning anything is not a final solution, you know. I also believe that. But big lies should be banned. Hmm. Yes, Gibel said select a big lie and tell it in symbol and propagate it. That is a very, very, very great danger to the society, you know. Hmm. 32,000 become three. How simply we are saying that thing? 32,003. What is the difference? That should be banned, you know. That wrong uh, uh, message. That wrong thing. Factual errors. Not, it is not an error. It is intentionally state like that. The filmmakers know how much is that. We are not in, uh, not agree with the ISIS or taking these poor girls to ISIS camps and uh, making these atrocities. We are deadly against that. But 32,000 Kerala women were taken there. That is a big lie. And that, how uh, this lie affect Kerala society? Uh, the respected Rahul Ishwar said that Kerala, there are Irava, Nambiar, Nair, and uh, other uh, religious here. Do you know what happened? What is the uh, uh, fate of Kerala in the 30s and 40s? Who fought against that? Under the leadership of some reform, reformers like uh, Svinarayana Gurudev and others, and left also, Congress also, joining hand, we fought against this untouchability in Kerala. Now, there is no this, uh, this kind of uh, religious uh, disparities, uh, sorry, caste disparities in Kerala. Uh, in, 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 it is not vision. There may be some mind here nowadays also, who are okay. enjoying in caste and religious. That is not the problem. But in this kind of a good society, uh, we, Kerala, didn't get rid of every evils, but we can say proudly that. I, 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 I think you can hear me or not. Yes, yes, yes. We can hear yes, you, Yes, you can hear. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We can proudly say more than other part of India, Kerala have more secular society. The secular har harmony is here and people are living jointly, loving each other. And in such a society, you are propagating, these filmmakers are propagating 32,000 of women joined in ISIS from Kerala itself. That's a big lie. That okay. big lies should be banned, not the film. Big lies should be banned, not the film. Uh, Vinita, is there a way forward if the filmmakers were to declare uh, that they have already amended it in, in their YouTube description. If they were to issue a disclaimer before the movie, uh, they would have to acknowledge that this is... See, we don't know if this is in the movie because none of us have seen the movie. But we certainly saw this number attached to the trailer. Uh, and now that trailer has been amended. Uh, when I say amended, we don't, we don't know what's in the movie, but the description of the trailer has been amended. Right? There you can see after the furor, 32,000 missing women changed to three. Now, the point is this casts a shadow of doubt over the rest of the film, doesn't it, Vinita? So, uh, so see, again, as I said, uh, since we are politicians and policymakers, we look at the big picture. But definitely, if you're discussing numbers, then I think the filmmakers taken it from uh, the chief minister's uh, statement, the erstwhile chief minister, Uman Chandi's statement, that 2,000 women every year are being converted uh, and forcibly taken to the ISIS, which was back in 2006. And so 16 years, and that's how he come, came out with a 32,000 figure, which is very ballpark, perhaps. And that's how he's revised it to the accuracy of four, uh, the cases which Rahul Ishwaran just uh, pointed out. So, uh, so I think that's about the numbers, but we're not debating numbers. We are again trying to say that the message is important and we, uh, we target the message, which everybody in the panel has agreed, even uh, uh, Shailaja ma'am has agreed that, you know, there is a, there is a case to be dealt with and that this, this whole fight is against terrorism and is against the forcible conversion to another religion for, for, uh, you know, uh, propagating terrorism. So that is the whole fight against. And the second point that I would like to make is that in this uh, show, Bartha, I would like to say that the BJP is not a fundamentalist party and we are definitely not promoting a, a, a uni religion or a mono, mono, mono religious uh, kind of person nation because the kind of policies and programs that we have for the minority 
minorities and for the Muslims, uh, especially the banning of the triple talaq and various other reformist and progressive policies that we brought in, uh, definitely goes on to prove that the BJP is definitely not a fundamentalist uh, party, which is again a false narrative which needs to be corrected time what is and your again. What is your position on the movie? Now that you've seen the filmmakers themselves having to correct a core that was referenced what is your position individually or as your party's representative on this on this film yeah so as far as the movie is concerned our party's uh, line is that creative freedom should not be curbed and we let's watch the movie like we all have not watched the movie let's see what the movie is all about but the theme of the movie definitely has uh, uh, you know uh, has some truth in it and we need to see the movie definitely to see what exactly the movie is conveying but the entire story and the entire narrative is true in terms of the conversions and in terms of the entire link to the terrorist uh, organizations that are there today uh, and also the crackdown on the PFI recently that has happened is also a reality that we need to take into account. So there is no smoke without a fire. And I repeat that let's look at the big message and not a debate on numbers here. Let me actually go back to someone who's actually done work in this area, Kabir. Uh, Kabir, you spoke about how one of the reasons that Kerala is uh, is more vulnerable to, to extremist influences like the ISIS is because of uh, what large sections of the population actually goes out to, 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 to Middle East countries, to Gulf countries to actually work. Uh, uh, but when you look at this entire politicized debate around conversions and conversions then being linked back uh, to, to 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 terror groups, right? There is the, the you know how do you read how do you separate Islamophobia from a real honest conversation about what may concern you? Um, so that's the difficult part, right? Because it's always difficult to it's also always very easy to create a narrative and very difficult to counter a narrative. Right. Yes, and and yes. we've and we've seen that repeatedly when it, uh, and that's where for groups like Islamic State have succeeded online for for years now. I mean, they have they're barely sort of visible there. We just saw that Turkey was claiming yesterday they killed their third caliph in three years. Uh, so, you know, they are down and out uh, basically right now, uh, even in Afghanistan, ISKP is, you know, it's a very sort of localized thing. It, it has very little links to the actual thing. So, uh, so what we are talking about then is largely domestic uh, narratives when you're talking about domestic politics. And, and look, we can sort of uh, either pander to what propaganda from these kind of organizations intends to do, uh, which is, uh, you know, insert itself in domestic crevices, or we can try to have a more unified position on this aspect, uh, you know, uh, that, okay, fine, you know, clearly 32,000 is not a correct number. And we have to push back against such because it, it really, really puts uh, puts the, the efforts that uh, Indian agencies have done, Indian, sort of Indian people have done to push back against such ideologies. It, it really diminishes those efforts. And so, that's, such a, that's such an important point because actually you're saying allowing this narrative panders. Hello. I'll just repeat my question. Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was just I was I, I was just saying you're making a very important point that in 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 this narrative of 32,000 ISIS fighters fighters in courts, you're actually pandering to the ISIS propaganda. And you know, uh, let me just say that uh, that's not an exclusive India thing. Uh, we have been pandering to ISIS propaganda since 2015, 2016 globally. Uh, we are, you know, they have been piggybacking on the mainstream media for, for years now. And uh, as I said, you know, that's still a certain extent what we are, uh, what this uh, debate even today is sort of, uh, you know, uh, on, on the back of. Because, yeah. uh, you know, because if you see the actual sort of numbers, even, even released by the Home Ministry and so on and so forth, uh, I think the numbers are from two years ago, but they always said that the number, total number of cases had never crossed 200. And even the cases that we hear about today in court are the cases that were in court two years ago, or three years ago. It's just that they are getting to some sort of conclusion now. There are very few new cases that have come out. At least I don't remember any new, particularly new case in the past yeah. three, four months. I, I, I do have to close now, Rahul Ishwar. Last thoughts, Rahul? Yeah, uh, no, I would submit to Shailaja, ma'am, that big lies will have to be fought with bigger truths. 
it's a responsibility of us bringing bigger truths to it and let me be blunt and honest regarding it the core issue is different the core issue is that kerala hindus having are having a fertility rate of 1.2 Christians are having a fertility rate of 1.8. Muslims are having a fertility rate of 2.7, which is absolutely normal and healthy. Anything between 2 and 3 is normal and healthy, and Muslims are having replacement level fertility rate. But we Hindus are not having that.